Welcome back. We're talking about the extreme lengths people go to in today's digital age to become famous. And we heard from one mom who's worried about her daughter's addiction to getting likes and another mom who's on a mission to empower her daughter's dream to be a rap star. Joining us now is clinical psychologist Dr. Donna Rockwell. Thank Hi. you for joining us. Thank you. Now, you work a lot with celebrities in your practice. And when do you feel somebody is legitimately chasing a dream? And when is it a cry for help? Well, you can tell when someone has a passion for something. I think we've seen that today here in the studio. And someone who has talent, and it's, it creates meaning for them to be doing this kind of work. It's not because they need attention or they want people to like them, but they have something to say and there's an intentionality behind it. You can feel it, there's heart, there's passion, and there's talent. Now, in the beginning of the show, uh, we spoke to a, a woman named Emma, an 18-year-old, and I'm really concerned about her. And what's your take when you hear about young girls or teenage girls, 18-year-olds doing underwear haul videos? Well, I have to tell you, I might have a little bit of a different opinion. That's okay. For Emma, because this is the new world that we're living in. And the internet is where you get attention and you promote yourself. Look at Kim Kardashian. How do we know about her? What did she have? Anybody? Sex tape. Sex tape, yep. exactly. So there's a way, you know, you get the attention that you need, and then how can you mold it into something for the long term? So I want to tell Emma not to give up. I think you have amazing talent, and you're beautiful, and I think you have so much to offer the world. And yes, just really fine-tune that message you have about empowering women. You know, Emma, what I, what I say a lot on this show is look for the message in the mess. So you've been putting out videos that are a certain way now, and it's not the message you want to put out. And the mess that gets created, there's something that you as an artist, as a woman, as an activist can learn from it to empower yourself even more. And I hope that's what the takeaway is for you today, okay? So, Flaget's at a critical moment in her career in terms of signing and followers and your project dropping, and you, we're so, we're proud of you, and we see your passion. What is the advice, because she's clearly a grounded young lady, surrounded by two amazing supportive women, and she's on a mission to put positivity out there. How does someone stay grounded and in the truth of who they are when all of that yeah. celebrity hits? Because it's already certain. She can't walk into a store without kids mobbing her. And I want to say, like, it is going to be damaging. It is, you're not going to ever be the same again. And so I would suggest that you have a fame coach. I mean, that's what I do. But that you have someone in your life that can help guide you through there and keep your eye on the prize. Thank you. And what is the, when you think about the prize and what you want to keep your eye on, what is it for you that jumps out in terms of the guiding light in your life that keeps you grounded? Um, my mom, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's on me, like, you're not, you haven't done anything. Like, you ain't, you're still my child. You still go clean up. You still go wash some dishes. You still go vacuum that rug. <laughs> I'm talking about. Yeah, so, the kids are like, does she live with you? Like, really? Does she have to clean her room? Yes. They look at her like she's not a person because they see her on the internet or on TV. So they really think she's not like a regular kid. She's going to be a regular kid in my house. Yep. And, I think and what else be, would you say? I think it would be good if you kept it in your mind that this is changing you and to try to hold on dearly to that little girl that you were. You're doing a lot of this for your dad because he didn't get to do it. Right. And that's really heart, you know, a mm. heartfelt thing. Right. So stay connected to that. So as a parent in this situation, because inevitably you're going to have a kid based on these odds that comes to you and says, I want to start a YouTube channel. I want to be a famous gamer. I want to do this. What is the advice to get them centered on the bigger reason why? It's to keep them in school. Okay, <laughs> I like that. And get their education and then think about that stuff later. If they have a talent, like both these girls do, then help them, help them nurture them, guide them, but keep a, a good watch on them, hold them. Because when you're 18, you don't really know. You remember 18. Barely. I remember 18. <laughs> we didn't know what we were doing, so. It's really up to the parent to stay strong and not take no for an answer. Excellent. 
Thank you so much. Sure, Thank pleasure. you to these awesome families. We'll be right back.